being on the streets is probably the most lonely I've ever been. Uh, because whether I was kicked out or whether I chose to leave, I felt like I didn't have anybody. You know, and in that, in that despair and that desperation, like it breaks you. It breaks your spirit, you know, and you have no will to continue unless somebody comes and picks you up. We had known that there was a need for a men's recovery program here. It was evidenced in every one of our street outreaches. How's it going out there? You all right? You safe? You feeling all right? Yeah, you hungry? You gonna eat first or what? You wanna go for a shower? We'd been praying about a men's location, cost prohibitive, and so that had stalled us. But we always believe if God wants us to go someplace, he's gonna resource us to go there. And so this last April, a ministry in East Hollywood with three facilities asked if they could merge with us. And suddenly we had buildings to start a men's program. The homeless in East Hollywood are very misunderstood. I don't think that people have a great idea of what it is to be homeless. Homelessness can be anything from anybody who does not have a permanent address to the person that's living in a tent out on the street. The kind of things that put people on the street can be they're homeless because of mental illness. Another is situationally homeless. Maybe they've lost their apartment, they've lost their job, they've lost everything but their car, or maybe they don't even have their car anymore. And at that point, they're no longer desirable. People don't wanna hire you because you're dirty, because you've got this history. Something must be wrong with you that you became homeless. What I see in their eyes is honesty and pain. I don't think anybody wakes up and says, you know what, I want to be an alcoholic or a drug addict today, or I want to live on the streets, or I, I want this for my life. So many of the people on the street, their hope and vision has been crushed. And if you ask them about tomorrow, they're just wanting to survive. They can't imagine anything other than what they're already in. I was totally lost out there, you know. I, I had no faith when I was on the street anymore. I thought there was no faith, no hope for me. I was just like, I felt like the whole world was against me. A part of helping somebody start a healing journey is to introduce the fact that they can have hope, that there is a different path, there is a way out. And so our life recovery program in the East Hollywood location is gonna be called Renewed Hope. Renewed Hope program is a 10-month program. It's free of charge. It's privately funded by donors like you and I that's biblically based. I think that the problems in men's lives, as in all of our lives, is our absence of having God at the center point. It is the absence of God. When men come into this program, it's not gonna be built on a foundation of worldly success. It's gonna be built on a foundation of biblical purpose, of the gospel truths. And so during that nine months, they go through classes, they learn biblical principles that they can apply to their life. They have therapies that can help them deal with past traumas, work therapy where they can learn the disciplines, what it means to be in the workplace, and the camaraderie of being together with other men who are working on the same issues, so they're not in it alone. The biggest transformation I see and what I know a guy has been truly transformed is when it transfers from I to somebody else. It's not about them anymore, it's about others. It's about what I can do for my fellow man, what I can do for somebody else. The East Hollywood properties uh, are right there off Sunset Boulevard. They're each within a block of the other. It's a beautiful setting for doing ministry. The reality of the buildings themselves is they were built in the early 1900s. And so we estimate that about 10 years of deferred maintenance exists in each of the buildings. Two of them are houses. The third building and the focus of our energy for the men's program is this residential building with individual rooms and shared bathrooms. 
As we look at that building and we look inside and we realize floors are uneven, ceilings are bad, bathrooms are out of date and in many cases out of order. The kitchen configuration's very tight and dated. We don't want our men to feel homeless when they come to us. We want them to feel at home. And so we look at that and we go, what would we want this to feel like if this is where I lived every day? Hey guys, I work for the rescue mission. We want to let you know every Thursday at the church over here, we have showers, there's a hot meal, breakfast, clothes, haircuts. The first thing they hear from us is the love of God, but more importantly, what they see from us is the love of God. You can talk about it all you want, but if you don't model it, especially guys from the street coming in a program, they see you right through it. Before coming into the program, I was sleeping in the alley and had it not been for the love that they show to others, whether they're coming in and volunteering or whether they're coming in for a meal, um, I, would, I, I, wouldn't, I would not have stayed. People can and will be transformed through the power of the gospel, the working of the Holy Spirit in our lives, the salvation that's offered to us through Jesus Christ. That's how people are transformed. When we take a look at the East Hollywood facilities and we think about what it is we really want to bring to the people who come there, it's really a renewal of hope. Maybe they had hope once in their life. Maybe they've never had hope. But a renewed hope is what God gives us when we choose to walk in His ways. Regardless of our background, regardless of who we've been, we can be a new creation in Christ, and that's our hope.